staffing shortages are encouraging some restaurants to consider something right out of the sci-fi world. Robots that serve food and interact with customers. And today we learned of a Rochester business involved in all this that says this is not as far away as you might think. Jack Watson live for us now in Rochester with more. Jack. Yeah, and all it really takes is a simple internet search to show that there are hundreds and hundreds of openings locally. Some businesses are trying to move past that with what they have. One local business owner thinks he has the solution. Robots. Actual, real-life robots. Could this be the next step for local businesses struggling to fill open jobs? To be clear, right now we're not at the stage where bots roam every dining room floor in Rochester, but Restaurant Connections, a local staffing company, is starting to pitch them, and the CEO says there's real interest. We have several people that need extra hands out there in the business. We're short on help. Uh, the robots are definitely a solution to that problem. Gene Trotta says bots can help with tasks like busing and delivering food to help amid an extended labor shortage at home and across the country, which isn't limited to restaurants. An online jobs portal from the Greater Rochester Chamber of Commerce shows hundreds of openings, a good chunk in the food service industry, but also in health care and finance. Businesses need help, and the shortage may cause restaurants to consider every option. We're still on the forefront of it, but it's something that's very real, and it's happening. Local financial expert Jared Felton with locally based Investment Wealth Management says automation is a way for businesses to keep things going. He says there's been a myriad of factors like vaccine mandates and qualifications which have kept the labor shortage a problem. He says enticing workers to come back can come from a more enticing package of benefits. What are you going to pay for for your employees? Obviously there's going to be an added cost, but as an entrepreneur we look at what is the uh, lesser of two evils, either not have help or have help as valuable employees and assets of a business, but give a little bit to keep. It might seem obvious, but all this stems from a need to get jobs done. That's usually done by people who aren't returning to the workforce at the rate they were expected to in the pandemic fallout. And Adam, on that note, BLS numbers, Bureau of Labor Statistics numbers, put the unemployment rate in Rochester steadily above 5% for the last three months. The latest numbers available from August 2021, still an improvement over the highs reached in the pandemic last year. We are live in Rochester. Jack Watson, News 8.